Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video, and I hope you subscribe to the channel to receive all new from us. Pharaoh Merit Neith was the first queen to rule in the history of the world, as she ruled Egypt, and she is from the first Egyptian family, and opinions differed as to whether she was the one who ruled the country or if she was the wife of King Jat. Archaeologists consider it a key to the rule of the pharaohs of Egypt in the dynastic era, and some manuscripts indicate that she may have ruled the country alone during a period of time. Queen Merit Neith is associated with the ancient Egyptian goddess Neith, an important deity during the first dynasty. The meaning of her name is Neith's beloved. It was the center of the cult of Neith in size, and you find some antiquities and tools from its era bearing other names, such as Nithotep meaning Neith Radia and Nakat Neith meaning Strong Neith. Her name Mother of the King appears on many royal seals of King Dun, and this may mean that he was her son. The antiquities that were found indicate that she was the wife of King Jet in the year 290 BC and she may have been the daughter of Pharaoh Jur. On the other hand, archaeologist Peter Caploni believes that she was the daughter of Jur, and that she was the wife of Jet. Merit Neith found a memorial sandstone tablet, which was found by researcher Flinders Petrie in 190 near the tombs of Umm al-Kat. Her name was also found on seals from her tomb with Den and Abydos. Its name is less present in locations other than Abydos. Broken flasks and bowls from Sin el-Fil were found in the Saqqara Cemetery. This cemetery was initially classified as her cemetery where its name was found engraved on a panel of alabaster, and researchers did not verify that later. However, her name was found on seals of personalities who were working under her administration in Saqqara, including the agent Haisha and Sak Ka. Sak Ka Saj was the director of the district of Horwag, who was a contemporary of the pharaohs of Jar, Waji and Den, and was buried in Saqqara. Merit Neith is buried in her tomb, Tomb Y, in Abydos. The tomb measures 19.2 x 16.3 meters and its height is unknown. The design of the tomb is similar to the tombs of King Jar, Jat, Dan, Ajayib, Samarkit and Ka, and he found in the center of the tomb a wooden coffin, as is the case with other kings. There are eight storage rooms around the room, surrounded by forty-one rooms for the dead, in which the chief servants and servants of the queen, women and men, and dogs are buried. The design of the tomb stems from a system depicting the ascension to heaven after death, as engraved on a comb from the elephant tooth found in the tomb of Pharaoh Jet, and it depicts the earth and the sky. The falcon Horus and the name written in the Serac fill the space between heaven and earth. There are two pillars of the comb on both sides of the sky. This shows the ancient Egyptian belief that the power of the king was to occupy the place between the earth and the sky. That is, the king was reaching a rank of his own, which was written and described later in the pyramid's texts in detail. In the cemetery of Merit Neith and Abydos, there is what is called the Wadi area and there are about 71 secondary cemeteries in the Umm al-Kab area, with an area of 66.5 x 25.5 meters. The secondary tombs to the northwest of her tomb were for the queen's servants and were buried in simple wooden coffins. It seems that all the queen's servants and her animals were killed to be buried with her for the purpose of accompanying her and serving her in the afterlife. This system ended with the burial of kings after the pharaoh Ka, who was the last king of the first dynasty and his tomb was surrounded by 26 secondary graves. Many ivory tools and stone tools were found in the secondary tombs northwest of the Merit Neith Cemetery. This was identified as the tomb of Merit Neith from the presence of a flask decorated with the name of the queen. This is why archaeologists differed over the burial place of Queen Merit Neith and the area around her tomb. Archaeologist Werner Kaiser believes that this area belongs to the tomb of Pharaoh Den. However, excavations carried out after that confirmed that it is a grave area belonging to the cemetery of Merit Neith. The area of the graves is also close to the tomb of King Jar, as the design of their tombs coincides. There is a Mastaba S3503 in the Saqqara area. Some historians believed in the past that it was the cemetery of Merit Neith, but this affiliation is still puzzled by scholars, because preparing two tombs for one queen was a strange issue at that time. And this perception may be due to the custom that every king of that period had a cemetery in Abydos. But the belief in the theory that her tomb is located in Saqqara is weak, especially since the method of burial is different and the owner of the Saqqara cemetery is unknown. Cemetery S3503 is a mastaba formed from the outside in the manner of niches, as it was shown after removing the dirt from the colors used in its decoration. Its substructure consists of a room lined with bricks. Lavin, it measures 14.25 x 14.50 meters and has five secondary chambers. The coffin chamber measures 4.80 x 3.50 meters and in it were the remains of a wooden sarcophagus and small pieces of thin gold leaf. Next to it was found a seal of King Waji and Queen Merit Neith. The mastaba was stolen in the Old Testament and set on fire. There is no name Merit Neith on seals in the tomb of Pharaoh Ka, the eighth pharaoh of the first dynasty, and all the rulers of Egypt in that first period are mentioned on it. 
It seems that Queen Meritneith has diminished her historical reputation at least since the time of the Pharaoh Ka. The name Meritaneth is purified by a Palermo stone and a broken piece of a memorial plaque from the 6th dynasty of Egypt. This tablet contains the history of several kings, and their name is found in a second list that mentions annual events carried out by the Pharaoh Den. According to researchers Kurt Set and Silk Root, the Palermo stone proves that Meritneth is the mother of Pharaoh Den. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like the video and subscribe to the channel to receive all new information related to the ancient pharaonic kings.